The heat during your sun visit would be five orders of magnitude weaker than that. So other than the dim flash in your eyes, you might not even notice. But what if you got the coordinates wrong? The sun's surface is relatively cool. It's hotter than, like, Phoenix, but compared to the interior of the sun, it's downright chilly. The surface is a few thousand degrees, but the interior is a few million degrees. What if you spent a nanosecond there? The Stefan Boltzmann law lets us calculate how much heat you'd absorb while inside the sun. It's not good. You would exceed the IEEE 1584B standard for second degree burns after one femtosecond in the sun. A nanosecond, the time you're spending there, is a million femtoseconds. This doesn't end well for you. But there's some good news. Deep in the sun, the photons carrying energy around have very short wavelengths. They're not visible light, they're mostly a mix of what we consider hard and soft x-rays. This means that they penetrate into your body to various depths, heating your internal organs and also ionizing your DNA, causing your Will damage before they even start burning you. Looking back, I realize I started that by saying there's some good news. I don't know why I did that. Don't spend a nanosecond inside the sun. In Greek legend, Icarus flew too close to the sun, and the heat melted his wings and he fell to his death. 